Uh, now we're going to get to the fun part, which is the coding part. Uh, so let's go ahead and spin up or uh, start your editor. Uh, so whether it's PyCharm or Visual Studio, it doesn't matter. Um, so you can see here that I created an S3 folder earlier um, in through my terminal. Now it's here in my GitHub folder. So um, hopefully you have everything set up. If not, pause the video. Uh, take a moment to make sure that your environment is set up right. Um, that you're you know have like that you're pointing or that you're using the appropriate uh, virtual environment and all that other good stuff. If you want to make it simplistic and just do things uh, on an editor and a terminal, uh, then feel free. But just make sure you're uh, you're set up and ready to code. All right. So one thing that I'm going to do here in my S3 folder is I'm actually going to create a directory. Uh, I'm going to call it data. I'm going to store some data files there, and then I'm going to create a another directory, and I call it downloads for when we download files from S3. We can have kind of um, a, a source uh, to upload files, which will be in data, and then a folder where we'll download files. Um, okay, so, but the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to create a new file, and uh, a new Python file, excuse me, and we will call this, um, we'll number it 01 connect and list. Py. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be connecting to our S3 instance and um, and then listing the folders that we have or the buckets that we have. Now if you haven't already gone to your console and created some buckets, uh, please do so so that you know you don't get back an empty list. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our module, import bot03, and then we're going to instantiate our client. Um, so we'll say client equals bado3 dot client and then s3 lowercase s3 I'm sorry cool uh, next we'll retrieve you know all bucket metadata and we'll do that by storing the response from client dot list buckets uh, into the response, right? So what this is going to do is actually going to retrieve, you know, um, just some metadata, not just like the bucket names, but quite a bit of metadata. And you can actually print response and and, and view what your metadata consists of. Uh, I won't go through that right now for just the sake of simplicity. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looping through like basically the these dictionaries. Um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna look through bucket data and display bucket names just so you know. So I'll say for B in response buckets because that is like one of the the nested uh, lists that it's in. Print um, B name because that's where the 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 bucket list is is located. So um, just go ahead and save that. I'll go over to my terminal since things are pretty large here in terms of text. Let me go back, go to my folder here. Okay. Did I not save this here? Oops, I saved in this in the downloads folder. So let me move this up one level. Okay. So now my terminal, here we go. So I'll type Python. Zero one connect and list. Here we go. So now uh, I went out and grabbed the names or extracted the names from the metadata essentially using that for loop. But I went out, grabbed all this metadata, iterated through some of the lists within that large dictionary that we get back, and then was able to list out my bucket names. So here I see that I have OSK bucket 2000, empty bucket, storage 4000, and then play. So if I go to my console, I see the 3,000 empty, 4,000 and play bucket right here. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching and um, see you in the next video.